Dear students, today's topic is the thyristor, popularly known as the silicon control rectifier, SCR. The topic code is ELEC-SVD-S3. Now, in many ways, the silicon control rectifier, SCR, or just thyristor, as it's more commonly known, is similar in construction to the transistor. It is a multi-layer semiconductor device, hence the silicon part of its name. It requires a gate signal to turn it on, the control part of the name, and once on, it behaves like a rectifying diode. The rectifier part of the name, in fact, the circuit symbol for the thyristor suggests that this device acts like a control rectifying diode. Here you can see this is the uh, symbolic representation of the SCR. It has three terminals. One is called anode, which is positive, and the other is called the cathode. It's a big diode. It, it is made of obviously two transistors. We will discuss this construction and a gate. G gate. So, however, unlike the junction diode, which is a two layer P injection uh, semiconductor device, or the commonly used bipolar transistor, which is a three layer PNP and NPN switching device, uh, the thyristor is a four layer PNPN semiconductor device that contains three P injunctions in series and is represented by a symbol as shown uh, here in front of the that paragraph. Now the like the diode the thyristor is a unidirectional device it allows only in one direction the current but the difference between the thyristor or the SCR and the diode is that once you uh, apply the biasing voltage the the voltage in the forward bias stage constantly current flows, uh, but in this case we have a gate and unless until this gate is being activated with a certain amount of voltage uh, which makes this gate to uh, the forward bias the internal uh, junction then only at that stage the current will be flowing, but we will discuss that later in the circuit symbol or circuit the construction of the SCR. So, the semiconductor device that contains three junctions in series and is represented by the symbol as shown. So, the thyristor is a unidirectional device that is it will only conduct current in one direction only, but unlike a diode the thyristor can be made to operate as either an open circuit switch or as a rectifying diode depending upon the thyristor gate is triggered. triggered. Now, in other, in other words, thyristor can operate only in the switching mode and cannot be used for amplification. The silicon control rectifier SCR is one of the several power semiconductor, devi semiconductor devices along with triax, triode, ACs, diax, diode ACs and UJTs, unijunction transistors that all are capable of acting like very fast solid state AC switches for controlling large AC voltages and currents. Uh, all these are now called the breakdown devices. These are the, uh, the SCR, UJT, DIX, TRIX, they are called the, the, they are the negative coefficient, uh, the, the resistance, resistance breakdowns uh, the, uh, and allowing the large currents. So, for the electronic students, this makes these very handy solid state devices for controlling AC motors and lamps for phase control. And in your home, you have got the dimmers which control the the speed of the 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 either the light or the the fans that is also used over there. The thyristor is a three terminal device labeled as anode, cathode, and gate, and consisting of the uh, P injunction which can be switched on and off at an extremely fast rate or uh, it can be switched on for variable uh, lengths of time during the half cycles uh, to deliver the selected amount of the 
power to the load. The operation of the thyristor can be best explained by the assuming that it is uh, to be made of the two transistors connected back to back as a pair of complementary regenerative switches as shown in the figure. Complementary uh, two transistors are connected on the earth. Now, let us see that figure. Now, here is the actual the main the P and P and thyristor uh, with the three terminals. The uh, we have this SCR or thyristor. Now, actually, what have uh, what uh, what the construction consists of? It has internally two transistors, but one is the uh, PNPA, the other one is the NPN. Two opposite uh, the polarities PNP and PN transistor are uh, fabricated inside. So this is the P. We have got P and P one transistor, and the uh, the uh, another we have got the NPN another transistor NPN this is a second transistor this is the so, O or we call it TR1 this is the first transistor and this is the the, the another which is PNP the second transistor so let us see we call this this is the transistor okay that has been reversed over here so the, the transistor 1 has a note uh, in this case and this one is a transistor 1 and this one is a transistor 2 which is the PNP transistor 1 is the okay we have got this thing PNP transistor 1 and transistor 2 is NPN. Uh, you can see here the anode is connected and the path if any load or the current is applied here is a load current could be bulk could be fan or anything DC or AC any uh, kind of the, uh, the electrical signal can be provided. So, if it is applied over here, uh, the it will try to pass all the way through here. Uh, but here you can see we have the junctions. This is the PN junction first. Then we have the second and the third. Three junctions are there. The, the two now the two transistor equivalent circuits shown that collected current of the NPN transistor TR TR the second transistor feeds directly into the base of the PNP transistor TR1 while the current uh, collected current of the TR1 feeds the base of the TR2 T, TR2. So, here we see that the, the, ba the base of the, the, uh, the is connected base of the transistor 1 is connected to the collector of the transistor 2 and the collector of the transistor 1 is connected to the base of the transistor Two. So, the gate is connected over here, the, the terminal is taken outside. So, in normal circumstances what we have this this uh, junction is the is the uh, is not being forward bias. So, it has a depletion region. So, that is the uh, due to the resistive uh, junction uh, this the load current cannot pass through all the way. So, when a proper voltage or trigger voltage is applied that is a positive. So, the, the forward biasing of this junction that is the this uh, NPN uh, uh, the uh, voltage is applied to make this the, the uh, junction diode to be forward biased then what will happen this uh, the applied load voltage uh, the load current will all the way I A will pass through and even if it is removed it will keep on um, flowing through. So, uh, triggering means any uh, process you want to start and then it is carry it is carrying on all the way even you remove that triggering first like you fire a bullet that bullet keeps on going and going until it is stopped by the certain uh, object. So, it is uncontrollable once a bullet is triggered then it is not uh, stoppable. So, here we can stop the load only load current when we stop here uh, introduce some switch over here. So, this is the basic uh, mechanism or the the uh, operation of the, the SCR. So, a little bit description is given over here. So, you can read it out that is the in detail that is given. So, let us come to the here this is the actual uh, SCR which look like remember SCRs or silicon rectifier uh, uh, sil sil silicon control rectifier are used for the power very high power devices where the high large current are 
uh, uh, assumed to be flowing uh, to switch on or switch off or the controlling the the phase control of the the that particular uh, device we want to control the device uh, the dimming or the increasing or decreasing the current now here is the thyristor vi characteristics curve you can see here this is the uh, voltages which we have been a plus positive forward voltage this is the reverse voltage and these are the currents you can see that the currents positive current and negative reverse current so when we once we have the reverse in the reverse break reverse voltage uh, the the very small amount of current is flowing through but as it leads to the breakdown reverse breakdown the large amount of the negative current flows through similarly in the forward voltage very small uh, if the voltage is very small uh, as long as it is small the forward uh, current is flowing positive current is flowing but as we apply the break over voltage the it is called the knee voltage as well the gate current gate voltage is applied then with the, the gate triggering on this voltage is now reduced to this and the 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 forward bias the the we say the trigger on the scr is triggered on turn on and the this is called the holding current and it go it allows a large amount of current to flowing through the the scr is turned on and the current is flowing through so this is a typical uh, vi characteristics curve of a the thyristor uh, scr uh, silicon control rectifier device uh, rest is the uh, description is given uh, in this uh, uh, the this lecture note you can read it out and that is a self explanatory uh, there should be no problem uh, in understanding the uh, this uh, topic uh, with this we reach to the uh, to the end of the topic thank you